Yeah, looking at that jet stream next couple of days, so we'll call it an active pattern uh, with what's going on. It was everything was kind of backed up the last couple of days, but now that jet stream uh, is going to start moving for a more of an active pattern, wetter pattern, a tail end of the work week and into the weekend. So there's a jet stream on Wednesday as this uh, low level of uh, this uh, low pressure system you know, both at the surface and stacked a little bit moves off to the east. Our next system tries to move in Thursday and into Friday. This is going to be a transition from uh, the uh, well above average temperatures to well below average temperatures back in the Dakotas, Wisconsin uh, and into Iowa. So you can kind of see how that low with the ridge here. We talked about this last week. The ridge here, uh, the energy is going to go up and over the ridge and bring down dry, cool air on the backside of it. Uh, so while temperatures are going to be coming down, it's also going to be relatively dry in some of those locations as well. Uh, the, uh, the, the saddle point between this uh, upper level low and, and this ridge of high pressure, so right in between this is where we're going to be squeezing that atmosphere uh, some, for some rain chances, possibly some windy conditions as well uh, between our Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so you got to that upper level low, that uh, kind of a weak clipper system. And by the time we get uh, near Michigan and Pennsylvania moving off to the northeast, another trough starts to take shape. And this is what I meant by kind of an active pattern that ridge is going to try to build back in uh, off here to the south end of the southeast. But remember, this isn't just an indication of uh, showers or wind or even storms, indication of cool dry air as well sinking through the Dakotas back down here to the south. So a decent signature showing up in the jet stream next Tuesday for below average conditions and back out in those locations. We'll start off with Allentown, Pennsylvania. Got some showers high around 63 degrees, low of about 58. Allentown, Illinois, partly cloudy, high of 87, low of 67 degrees. Allentown, Virginia, that's off on the east coast, way out there, mostly cloudy, high of 75.